The new Scream movie does not follow the rules of January movies at all. January releases are supposed to be terrible, but instead, I kind of love this movie. Even in the Scream sequels that I don't remember liking, like 3 and 4, there is still a purpose for all the movies to exist, with 3 being a send-up of trilogies and 4 being about remakes. They all reflect very hard on the kinds of movies that were out around the time, and boy, this one does too! So if you're expecting this one to be one of those remakewals that's a sequel, but just kinda remaking the first one, well, the movie does that, but that's exactly what it's commentating on. Not only does this satirize every single trope of a remakewal, or requel as this movie calls it, but it absolutely butchers them to the point to where when I left this movie, I was like, I don't know how a sequel like that can exist anymore without me thinking back to this film. I don't need to see another one of those movies for a long time. Hell, there's even a reason for it to have tropes that I hate. I'm not a big fan of when a sequel just uses the title of the first movie, but here, there is 100% a reason for it to just be called Scream. Though with the last one looking like it was called Scriform, it would have been funny to see this one called Five Cream. Not only does the movie go after everything from trying to reenact the events of the first one, but also that of course the older characters will be much more likable than the younger characters. And it heavily pokes fun at internet film discourse too, especially with franchises. I love other little things about the movie, like how the younger characters don't really know that much about slasher movie trivia because they're more into art house horror movies, or how a character spends a lot of the movie binge-watching the Stab series. And even with the movie being pretty funny at times, there are still deaths that hit pretty hard, and some of them are quite ruthless and brutal. Not only is it great having a slasher movie here, but also one with these characters that are just straight up likable. Like always, Dewey and Gale are the best characters here, and do have some very sweet moments together. Some of the newer characters work too. Melissa Barrera and Jack Quaid are very good in the film. There are a couple of characters though that are kind of obnoxious, and they're in all three acts of the movie. There is some very good CG at times, then at other times it's pretty obvious. The new characters spend a little too much time accusing each other of murder to the point to where I was like, do you all even like each other? I'm not sure why you're hanging out. Sure, there's other things I could criticize, but a lot of it's pretty par for the course with this series that it didn't really bother me that much. Yeah, the satire isn't subtle at all. It lays it all out there for you by telling you exactly what it's commentating on, but I could say that about every movie in this series. Plus, I would roll my eyes a couple of times when a character would have the same name as a famous horror person. But again, I kind of expect that out of this series. This is a very fun, clever satire. The direction is excellent, as it's in very good hands with the directors of Ready or Not. So I'd give it a solid A-. It's easily the best one since the second film. And we've got a couple new Cinema Snob episodes posted. Check out our episode on the first Scream movie, plus the episode on Christmas Evil was finally released. About damn time. Merry Christmas, I guess. See you next time.